Hi dear students, uh, this class we are going to a new idea at the same time I can say so very very important idea in three dimensional geometry that is a plane in a space. So I hope so everyone know R bar is equals to A bar plus a lambda B bar. This is the equation of a line in vector form. The equation of a line passing through a point with the position vector A bar and a parallel to the vector B bar is equals to AI plus BJ plus CK. So this is the equation of a line, line equation in vector form. When it is passing through a point with the position vector A bar, that point is given as x1, y1, z1. Its position vector is A bar and this line is parallel to a vector B bar is equal to AI plus BJ plus CK. This line equation is given by R bar is equal to A bar plus lambda B bar. This is the vector form of the line equation. The same we can also write in this way x minus x1 divided by a is equals to y minus y1 divided by b is equals to z minus z1 divided by c. This is the Cartesian form of the same line equation passing through a point x1, y1, z1. The line has direction ratios a, b, c. Line direction ratios A, B, C. So that is the line equation. So whenever line means this is the Cartesian form, this is the vector form. That information we have to get. So now we are entering into the plane in a space. First of all, I am going to discuss about the equation of a plane in normal form. So we have to find out the equation of this particular plane. Let us say this plane equation we have to find out. For that the information is given as from origin onto this plane the perpendicular distance is given as t. You know, this is origin. From origin onto the plane the perpendicular distance is given as d. And the another information is given as a unit vector normal to the plane is given as n cap. So these two informations are given. So this is the information given for us. Okay. So here. So this is origin. Right. From origin onto the plane. This distance is given as D. That means the length of this pen is equals to D. This tip is origin. And this information given. This chalk denotes. A unit vector normal to the plane. This figure what I am showing here is there on the board. Right? So this is a unit vector normal to the plane. And this is from origin onto the plane the distance is d. Now I am going to find out the equation of this surface. This plane equation I am going to find out. For that what I am doing is I am taking a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar that is a general point on the plane let us take that general point as x comma y comma z be a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar you know r bar is equal to xi plus yj plus zk right now tell me this is a one vector p a bar now can anyone say what about this vector OA bar? Come on. This OA length is equals to D. In this direction the unit vector is N cap. That's why the OA bar vector is equals to D into N cap. Now the figure is like this. Right? So now observe here. The figure is exactly like this. The chalk denotes the chalk denotes P A bar. Chalk denotes P A bar. And this pen denotes the vector O A bar. Tell me how the chalk and the pen. So these two are perpendicular. Yes or no? So that's the reason P A bar. 
and the other vector is O A bar. These two vectors are perpendicular. That's why their dot product is equal to zero. Or what is the P A bar? Position vector of A. That means that is nothing but O A bar. So that is O A bar minus O P bar dot O A bar. Is equals to zero. But what is O A bar? O A bar is nothing but d into n cap minus O P bar is nothing but R bar. Position vector of P is R bar. That is O P bar is equal to R bar. A is a dot product with a d into n cap is equals to zero. Here d is a scalar. We can shift to that side. Now what happens? This one. D into n cap minus r bar dot n cap is equals to zero, right? Now what happens this one? Because the d shifted to that side. Now this can be written as d into n cap dot n cap minus r bar dot n cap is equals to zero. So this simplification we can write n cap dot n cap is equals to one. That's why we are getting r bar dot n cap is equals to t. That is the equation of a plane in normal form, right? Normal form of the equation of a plane. So what the information given? N cap is a unit vector normal to the plane. n cap is a unit vector normal to the plane and d is the perpendicular distance from origin to the plane when these two informations are given when these two informations are given how to find out the plane equation r bar dot n cap is equals to d we have to find out the equation of a plane So the information is given as from origin onto the plane, the perpendicular distance is d, and a unit vector normal to the plane is given as n cap. When these two informations are given, this is the vector form of the plane equation. Now, whenever it is a unit vector, its components are direction, cosines are not. Its components are direction, cosines, right? So this is say n cap is equals to l i plus m j plus n k. That means l comma m comma n are direction cosines of normal to the plane. L comma m comma n are direction cosines of normal to the plane. The reason is because it is a unit vector. Whenever it is a unit vector, l square plus m square plus n square is equal to one. So L comma M comma N are the direction cosines of normal to the plane, and D is the distance from origin to the plane. Then the equation of the plane is given by R bar is equal to x i plus y j plus z k. N cap is equal to L i plus M j plus N k. Those two dot product what happens? L x plus M y plus N j is equal to D. This is the equation of the plane in Cartesian form, right? Equation of a plane in vector form. This is the equation of a plane in Cartesian form. This is the normal form of the equation of a plane. L comma M comma N are direction cosines. Direction cosines of normal to the plane and N cap denotes. Unit vector normal to the plane. What is the significance of d here? D has a special significance. That special significance is d is a distance from origin to the plane, right? So this is about the equation of a plane in normal form. Observe here the plane equation given in this way. So he is saying that from distance from origin is equal to seven units. And a unit vector normal to the plane is given as 3i plus 5j minus 6k. That is the information given. What the information given for us? 
from origin onto the plane the perpendicular distance is given as 7 and a unit vector no unit vector not given a vector normal to the plane that's all this is the information given he is saying this is a normal he is not saying it is a unit vector it is not a unit vector observe there so n bar given a normal to the plane given yes we can convert this one into a unit vector that we can write it as 3i plus 5j minus 6k divided by square root of 9 plus 25 plus 36 right so that is nothing but we will get root 70 so therefore the equation of the plane in vector form is r bar dot n cap is equals to d that's why you will get r bar dot we got just now n cap that is equal to 3i plus 5j minus 6k divided by root 70 is equals to d d is given as a 7 right so this is the vector form of the equation of a plane now what is the cartesian form of the same plane equation to write in cartesian form in place of r bar we have to write xi plus yj plus zk then what happens 3x plus 5y minus 6z divided by root 70 is equal to 7 this is the equation of a plane in normal form tell me what are the direction cosines of normal to the plane the direction cosines of normal to the plane are 3 by root 70 5 by root 70 minus 6 by root 70 are the direction cosines of normal to the plane but what is a 7 7 is the distance from origin to the plane now the same equation we can write 3x plus 5y minus 6z is equal to 7 into root 70 this is the equation of a plane no doubt no, this is the equation of a plane but what about 3 comma 5 comma minus 6 3 comma 5 comma minus 6 are direction ratios of the normal to the plane this plane has a direction ratios plane plane has a normal this normal direction ratios are 3 comma 5 comma minus 6 but what is the significance for 7 into root 70 for 7 into root 70 there is no significant just it is a constant right so when it is in the form of r bar dot n cap is equal to d d has a special significance whenever it is n cap it has a special significance distance from origin to the plane when it is not n cap just we are writing r bar dot 3i plus 5j minus 6k is equal to 7 into root 70 this is the equation of a plane but here 7 root 70 has no significance it is just a constant right so that is about the equation of a plane in normal form so they have given the plane equation like this 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y minus z plus 5 is equals to 0 that is the equation of the plane given he is asking what are the what is the unit vector normal to the plane unit vector normal to the plane and at the same time he is asking from origin on to the plane what is the perpendicular distance first here whether you observed or not x cos alpha plus y cos 90 minus alpha is equal to p that is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p is the equation of a straight line in normal form here also the same x cos alpha plus y cos beta plus z cos gamma Array here we discuss the normal form as this is the normal distance from origin to the line is p and that normal makes an angle alpha with x axis that normal makes an angle 90 minus alpha with y axis then the equation of this line is given by x cos alpha plus y cos 90 minus alpha is equal to p that's the reason we got x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p but here what we got x cos alpha plus 
y cos beta plus z cos gamma is equals to d is the equation of a plane in normal form. This is the equation of a plane in normal form. Cos alpha is nothing but L. Cos beta is nothing but M. Cos gamma is nothing but N. L comma M comma N are direction cosines. Whenever L comma M comma N are direction cosines, this alpha, beta, gamma are the angles made by the normal vector with x axis, y axis, z axis. Right? So that is the information, that is the comparison between a two dimensional geometry and a three dimensional geometry. So in two dimensional geometry we are discussing as a line, the same we are comparing with a plane. In two dimensional geometry ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is the line equation. Whereas in three dimensional geometry ax plus by plus c z plus d is equal to 0 is the equation of a plane. Yes, this is the plane equation. I want to convert this plane into normal form. He is asking what about the direction cosines? of a unit vector normal to the plane and also he is asking from origin on to the plane what is the perpendicular distance. First of all, can you tell me what is the vector form of this plane equation? This plane equation in vector form we can write it as r bar dot 2i plus the 3j minus k plus 5 is equals to 0. That is the vector form of the plane equation. Now I am writing the same as r bar dot minus 2i minus 3j plus k divided by square root of 4 plus 9 plus 1 is equals to 5 divided by root 14 whether you observed or not. Both sides I divided with root 14. Sir, why you have written minus? Minus a plus here. Because when we are shifting 5 to that side, it becomes a minus 5. Right hand side is always a distance from origin to the plane. D is the distance from origin to the plane. That's why that constant I am making it as a positive. That's why this one. Now, this is the information we got. This is the equation of the plane. What are the direction cosines of normal to the plane? Minus 2 by root 14 minus 3 by root 14 1 divided by root 14 these are the direction cosines of normal to the plane and from origin on to the plane the distance is given by 5 root 14 right so that is about normal form of the equation of a plane so again the further discussion we are going to do different forms of the plane equation so this is the information. We want to find out the equation of this plane. This plane is passing through a point x1, y1, z1 with the position vector a bar and normal to the plane is given as n bar. Normal to the plane is given as n bar. That means ai plus bj plus ck. That is normal is given as ai plus bj plus ck. Are whenever we are writing the plane equation as ax plus by plus cz is equals to d. I am saying this is a plane equation means what about a, b, c? a, b, c denotes plane has a normal. This normal direction ratios are a comma b comma c. So that's why. Now I want to find out the equation of this plane. This plane is passing through a point x1, y1, z1. Plane is passing through a point x1, y1, z1 whose position vector is a bar. And for that I am taking a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar. That particular point I am taking it as x, comma, y, comma, z whose position vector is given. Right? So this is the information. Observe here. We have to find out the equation of this plane. This plane equation we have to find out. Plane is passing through a point. There is a point on the plane. Plane passing through this particular point and plane has a normal given. 
These two informations are given. We have to find out the equation of a plane. Plane is passing through a point and a normal vector to the plane also given. When these two informations are given, how to find out the equation of a plane? That's what we are going to discuss. Right? Nothing difficulty here. You can observe here, this is a vector AP bar. Right? Now we are getting this information. Whether you observed or not. So this is the information we are discussing. Yes or no? This is the point here. Now this is the vector AP bar. This is the vector AP bar. And this is N bar. Observe this AP bar and N bar. How they are? AP bar and N bar. These two are perpendicular. When these two vectors are perpendicular, their dot product is equal to 0. So this is AP bar and this is N bar. Whatever diagram here I am showing that I shown to you people. Right? So this is AP bar and this is N bar. These two vectors are perpendicular. That's why their dot product is equal to 0. That's why AP bar dot N bar is equal to 0. Now what is AP bar? Position vector of P minus position vector of A dot n bar is equal to 0. That is the equation of a plane passing through a point with the position vector a bar and a normal to the plane is given as n bar. This is the equation of a plane in vector form. The same plane equation in Cartesian form is we can write x minus x1 plus y minus y1 plus z minus z1 I hope so everyone following because its meaning is x minus x1 into i y minus y1 into j plus z minus z1 into k is dot producted with n bar what is n bar? n bar is equal to ai plus bj plus ck x minus x1 into i cap y minus y1 into j cap plus z minus z1 into k cap this vector is dot producted with n bar is equal to a i plus bj plus ck those two dot product that's why a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to 0 this is the equation of a plane in Cartesian form right Passing through a point x1, y1, z1. Passing through a point x1, y1, z1. Whose normal has a direction ratios a, b, c. Then the equation of this plane, the equation of this surface is given by a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equal to 0. That is the Cartesian form of a plane equation and this is the vector form of a plane equation. That's why for finding the plane equation we require two informations. The first information is we required a point on the plane, we required a normal to the plane. When these two informations are there, enough, we can find out the plane equation. Point on the plane required, a normal vector is required. A normal to the plane is required. When these two informations are there, we can find out the plane equation. So this is the vector form of the plane equation. The same we can write in this way, r bar dot n bar minus a bar dot n bar is equal to 0. That's what we can write it as r bar dot n bar is equal to a bar dot n bar. Let us say this a bar dot n bar is equal to d. That's why r bar dot n bar is equal to d. That is the vector form of a plane equation and this is the Cartesian form of the same plane equation. Right? Vector form and this is Cartesian form. What about A, B, C? A comma B comma C are direction ratios of normal to the plane. Now my question is, I want to find out the equation of a plane passing through three non-collinear points. You know, this is one point. This is another point 
and here one more point is there plane is passing through three points I want to find out the equation of a plane how to find out yes because for finding this plane equation we are taking a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar now observe here this is one vector a p bar now this is another vector a b bar and this is one more vector a c bar three vectors are there these three vectors are coplanar three vectors lie on the same plane the first vector is a p bar and the second vector is a b bar and one more vector is a c bar these three vectors are coplanar means three vectors are coplanar then box is equals to zero so box that means r bar minus a bar is a p bar a b bar is equal to b bar minus a bar and a c bar is equal to c bar minus a bar box must be equal to zero that's what you can observe here are this is a b bar and this is a c bar these two vectors cross product is normal to the plane or not these two vectors cross product is normal to the plane right now this is ap bar is one vector these two vectors that means ab bar cross ac bar is normal to the plane that's why other vector is ab bar cross ac bar is a normal to the plane ap bar is on the plane and next ab bar cross ac bar is like this normal to the plane now these two vectors are perpendicular that's why their dot product is equal to zero that's what i written this is the definition of box box is equal to zero so that's what we can write suppose this point is given as x1 y1 z1 and this point is given as x2 y2 z2 and this point is given as x3 y3 z3 and you know the general point we have to take always x y z tell me what is the equation of a plane directly yes directly we can write the equation of a plane in cartesian form as x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 that is nothing but r bar minus a bar next b bar minus a bar means what happens x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 next c bar minus a bar x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 z3 minus z1 is equal to 0 so that is the equation of a plane in cartesian form right so so that is the way of finding the equation of a plane passing through three non-collinear points. Plane equation passing through three non-collinear points. Now I am going to find out the another equation of a plane. I want to find out the equation of this plane passing through the point. The plane is passing through a point with the position vector a bar and parallel to two vectors plane is a parallel to one vector b bar plane is a parallel to another vector c bar that is the information that means now the figure is given like this we want to find out the equation of a plane right we want to find out the equation of a plane plane is a passing through the point plane is a passing through these two points right and these are the two lines let us say here like this so plane you know already there is a point on the plane right now these are the two vectors these are the two vectors parallel to the plane just imagine floor as a plane floor as a plane right on the floor there is a point and these two vectors are parallel to the floor now tell me what is the normal to the plane Are these are two vectors when these are two vectors these two vectors cross product these two vectors cross product is me along my direction 
so these two vectors cross product is a normal to the floor so that's why this is b bar this is c bar these two vectors cross product is normal to the plane right so now you know a point on the plane b bar cross c bar is a normal to the plane you know a point on the plane and b bar cross c bar is a normal to the plane then we can find out the plane equation the equation of the plane is because we required a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar now this is a p bar this is the vector a p bar these two cross product is normal to the plane right so this is b bar cross c bar these two are perpendicular that's why the dot product is equal to zero so i can write a p bar dot b bar cross c bar is equal to zero a p bar is nothing but r bar minus a bar dot b bar cross c bar is equal to zero that is nothing but box box is nothing but r bar minus a bar b bar c bar is equal to zero is the equation of a plane right so this is the equation of a plane passing through a point with position vector a bar and parallel to these two vectors right now the same way we can write in another way observe here so this is one point with the position vector a bar this is another point with the position vector b bar this is another point with the position vector c bar and this is a general point on the plane now r bar minus a bar is one vector b bar minus a bar another vector c bar minus a bar another vector because these three vectors are coplanar that's why box is equal to zero we got the plane equation sometimes in the option they have not given in that way the option may be given in this way because these three vectors are coplanar as we discussed in collinearity and coplanarity two vectors are coplanar three vectors are coplanar means one can be expressed as the linear combination of other two one vector can be expressed as the linear combination of other two so that means r bar minus a bar is equals to lambda b bar minus lambda a bar plus mu c bar minus mu a bar shift to this side or shift to that side therefore we can write r bar is equals to 1 minus lambda minus mu into a bar plus lambda b bar plus mu c bar is equals to r bar like this also they may give in the option the equation of a plane passing through three non collinear points passing through three non collinear points is given by this one right so this is also the equation of a plane so another discussion here is we want to find out the equation of a plane this plane equation i want to find out the information is given as plane contains the two lines that is the information that means the information is given like this now we want to find out the equation of a plane contains two lines that means two lines are there on the plane one is a chalk the other one is pen these are the two lines these are two lines are there on the plane we want to find out the equation of this plane right so plane contains two lines these are two lines are there on the plane then we have to find out the equation of a plane yes for finding the plane equation we are taking a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar and a first line equation is r bar is equal to a bar plus lambda b bar second line equation is r bar is equal to c bar plus mu d bar plane contains these two lines now what happens we are taking a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar now this is a and this is c 
Tell me now, a b bar is one vector. Yes or no? So one vector is a b bar. The other vector is b bar. One more vector is c bar. Yes or no? That means we can write r bar minus a bar is equals to lambda b bar plus mu c bar. This is another way of representing the same. That we can write it as r bar is equal to a bar plus lambda b bar plus mu c bar. That is also the equation of a plane contains two lines. Yes, the same we can also write in this way. Something wrong with it. C bar is not a ve vector. This is wrong. Wrong here. This is d bar we have to write. So then here also you will get d bar. Because observe here, a p bar is a vector. B bar is a vector, D bar is a vector, C bar is not a vector, C bar is a point position vector. So that's why A P bar vector, B bar vector, D bar vector. These three vectors are coplanar. That's why box is equal to zero. The same we can write in another way. Three vectors are coplanar means one can be expressed as the linear combination of other two. That's why we got in this way. R bar is equal to A bar plus lambda B bar plus mu D bar is the equation of a plane containing two lines, right? So, the other information is like this. We want to find out the equation of a plane passing through two points. Passing through two points with the position vector a bar and b bar and parallel to the vector c bar. So that is the information. That means the information is given now like this. Plane is passing through. This is one point given and here another point given. And the plane is parallel to this vector c bar. We have to find out the equation of the plane. We have two points on the plane and this is a vector parallel to the plane then how to find out the equation of a plane now observe here for finding the plane equation I am taking a general point that is equals to say r bar now this is one vector that is nothing but a p bar this is another vector a b bar we are saying this is a c bar observe here these are three vectors Free vectors. This is free vector. Free. We can move free vector. Right? Now, this is a C bar. C bar, right? How many vectors are there on the plane now? One vector is A P bar. The other vector is B bar minus A bar. And one more vector is C bar. These three vectors are coplanar. That's why box is equal to zero. So, that's all. That is the equation of a plane. So that same if you want to write in the vector form, a p bar means r bar minus a bar, we can write x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1, because if you take a bar as x1, y1, z1, right. Now b bar minus a bar, the next one we can write it as x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, c bar is another vector, c1, c2, c3. Box is equal to zero. Box is nothing but determinant is equal to zero. The same answer can be written in Cartesian form. This is in vector form. The same answer may be written in another form also. These three vectors are coplanar means one can be expressed as the linear combination of other two. So that's why this is also the equation of a plane. That we can also write in this way. R bar is equal to 1 minus lambda into A bar. Shifted to that side. Taken A bar common. Plus the lambda B bar. Plus mu C bar. This is also the equation of a plane. Plane equation. Plane equation. This is the Cartesian form of the plane equation. That is about the information regarding different forms of the plane. Now here we can discuss how to find out angle between two planes also. You see, these are the two planes. This plane has a normal, 
this plane as a normal i want to find out angle between two planes are angle between two planes is nothing but angle between pen and chalk or not pen is one normal chalk is another normal so angle between two planes is nothing but angle between two normals if the two planes are perpendicular the two planes are perpendicular then normals also perpendicular if the two planes are parallel two planes are parallel then normals also parallel right you see if the two planes are parallel then normals also parallel if the two planes are perpendicular then normals also perpendicular that's why r bar dot n1 bar is equal to d1 that is one plane equation r bar dot n2 bar is equal to d2 is the equation of another plane the angle between these two planes is given by cos theta is equal to angle between two planes is given by cos theta is equal to n1 bar dot n2 bar divided by magnitude of n1 bar into magnitude of n2 bar that is the formula for finding angle between two planes right suppose the plane equations are given in cartesian form if the plane equations are given in this way one plane equation is given as a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equals to d1 the other plane equation is given as a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equals to d2 i want to find out the angle between these two planes angle between these two planes is given by cos theta is equals to a1 a2 because this line this plane has a normal normal direction ratios are a1 b1 c1 this plane also has a normal normal direction ratios are a2 b2 c2 the same i am writing in the cartesian form a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 divided by square root of magnitude of n1 bar is root over a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square that is the formula for finding angle between two planes right so another idea i am going to discuss how to find out angle between a line and a plane observe here this is a plane plane has a normal this is a line right so we want to find out the equation of angle between a line and a plane observe here we want to find out the angle between a line and a plane are this is a line and this is a plane angle between a line and a plane that means this angle is required we required this one right this is a theta but what about this one this one is becoming 90 minus theta or not if this angle is a theta then this becomes this is a 90 minus theta what is this this is the angle between normal to the plane this is the angle between normal to the plane and line this is a normal to the plane n bar this is a vector along this line is b bar that is the reason observe here the same diagram i am showing here that is the plane plane has a normal this is a normal normal vector is say n bar because plane has a normal that normal vector is equal to n bar now this is the line exactly this figure only i shown once again i am showing observe here this is a plane and this is the normal we want to find out the angle this angle required this angle required this is theta if this is theta this becomes 90 minus theta so that's why we required this angle theta then automatically this becomes 90 minus theta observe now so line equation given means you know how the line this is a plane r bar dot n bar is equal to d is the plane and r bar is equals to a bar plus lambda b bar is the equation of a line 
we want to find out the angle between a line and a plane passing through a point with position vector a bar and parallel to the vector this vector is given as b bar right so i am going to find out the angle between this line and a normal i am finding angle between these two means i am finding the angle between these two that is cos 90 minus theta is equals to b bar dot n bar divided by magnitude of b bar into magnitude of n bar nothing we are finding angle between these two vectors these two vectors that is 90 minus theta right so therefore we are getting cos 90 minus theta is sin theta is equals to b bar dot n bar divided by magnitude of b bar into magnitude of n bar this is the formula for finding angle between a line and a plane theta but sin theta sin theta is equal to b bar dot n bar by magnitude of b bar into magnitude of n bar that is the formula for finding angle between a line and plane okay so now in the based on this information so try to work out watch this video very carefully i hope so you have watched okay so make all these points proper notes and practice few questions okay bye bye